Hey everyone, I just want to throw this quick video together for you, especially those of you that are doing your own research and listing uh, keywords and titles and brand names and all of that. This is just a quick little um, video to show you how you can find strong, good keywords to add to your brand name and shirt title. Um, and if you choose to do the bulleted points and just add a variety to your keyword density, so to say. All right, I'm going to show you a couple of quick tools. If you go to Google and you key in SERPs, go to SERPs.com. You're going to go to Tools and just go to Keyword Research Database. I'm going to do two examples today just to show you um, how easy this t is to do. I'm going to choose Solar Eclipse because that's a popular topic right now. And then I'm going to do a type of snake just to have a different niche to show you um, another example. Anyways, I use this tool to come up with um, strong keywords based on how many times they're searched for on a monthly basis. So if we do the uh, solar eclipse example first, you just have to click this CAPTCHA, wait till the check mark shows and then hit search. And then this is gonna show you the search results on a monthly basis, so this is uh, values per month. So I always just click on volume so it ranks them in order. So these are the strongest keywords based on volume per month. So obviously words like solar eclipse, uh, people use it with the hyphen, solar eclipse 2015, there must have been a popular one then. Obviously you wouldn't use this because it's 2017, but things like next solar eclipse, total, you know, so on and so forth. So maybe you pick like the top five or ten keywords here so you make sure that you either use those in your brand name your t-shirt title you know for the listing and or at least your bullet points um, so obviously you can just copy and paste them you know or do whatever you want to get them into wherever you keep your information for each uh, t-shirts title and so on and so forth another tool that I use is called uber suggest so obviously this is the most popular one I'm just going to copy that you go to ubersuggest.io if you just key in on google uber suggest it's going to come right up for you so i just come here type in my main keyword and obviously i'm choosing the one for this niche that's been searched for the most on average per month suggest okay so this comes up with a bunch of keywords the reason why i like this is because if i am going to do the bulleted points you know, to come up with 250 characters, um, sometimes it can be daunting and you have to do that twice. So, you know, I'm going to come through here. I'm going to click the words that I like. Obviously, it's 2017. Uh, maybe I want to use this in part of a sentence, like don't forget to wear your solar eclipse glasses. Um, see it live. Let's see. Maybe I like solar eclipse astrology. People are probably searching for that as well. Uh, maybe some predictions. Uh, don't go blind. That's funny. Solar eclipse blind. Um, maybe you want to pick a certain location. Try to pick things that are relevant so you're not, you know, spamming. Um, solar eclipse from space, maybe. Anyways, you get the drift. You go through here, you pick whatever you want that you want to use in your key, key uh, bulleted points. And then what's really cool about this website is once you uh, click the ones you want, go to Keywords Selected, and instead of having to type these or try to copy and paste them individually, if you just click on View as Text, you literally can just copy these. And then I use this tool. Let me get out of here. I use this tool, um, wordconner.net which is good for the titles and the brand name. So you can just take one of these. I think I called my solar eclipse shirt something like um, Uh, and then maybe you might want to put like astrology, t-shirt, you know, whatever it is you want to call it. 
But what's cool about this tool is that all you have to do is highlight the text that you're looking at. And we know that the titles can be 60 characters, so maybe I'll add another keyword here. Astrology space t-shirt, something like that. And then I just highlight it. And now I know, you know, I'm pretty close to 60. If I wanted to add another word, I could. But I just highlight it to do that. Then I'm going to copy it, and then I go to my, you know, uh, new listing. And then I would just paste it there. And then you can make these into sentences. Um for your bulleted points, you know, adding it so it doesn't look like you're spamming it. Um, another thing that's really cool about this is, I'm going to show you even better on the next example, but it has a thesaurus built right in. So you could just highlight a word and add more keywords because we got to remember that not everybody searches for something uh, with the same exact language. So the more synonyms you use, especially if you're struggling to find out or to find more words to say in your bulleted points, then this thesaurus tool is a good example of um, how you can get more words that other people might be searching for as well. Uh, I'm going to do one more example. Uh, King Cobra. There's only 24 results. I don't know what made me think of this one, but I just wanted to pick something that was different. Um, and this is the one shirt that is has the best rank. So all I wanted to show you was is if you can't think of your own thing, you can go to the top ranked um, shirt in a niche, take the bulleted points if you want, put it in here. Obviously you have to do the brand name and title, but make this your own. Obviously yours is probably not going to be hand drawn. Um, so you could add some words here, but I just wanted to show you like the word deadly. If you're stuck for words so you're not copying it exactly you could come here and say like lethal um, notable notable for famous you know you get the point you can just make this your own and add some more details and then say this is going to be your first bulleted point so only 156 characters so obviously you want to add some more depth to that but I want to do one more example on here for you let's do the Actually, I'm going to do this one first. I keyed in on here before I started making the video King Cobra Snakes or Snake. Okay, this was searched for 1600 times for the most uh, per month with that phrase. But when I just keyed in Cobra Snake, so that was 1600. All this comes up a lot if you um, use this a lot. So that was 1600. Look at the difference, 9900. And you don't have to do it with a um, hyphen, but you can if you want to. So obviously a cobra snake is going to be searched for more than king cobra. So let's use cobra snake on here. And just don't make uh, just make sure you don't have the selected words from the previous niche. So now we have 318 uh, results. So obviously I can come down here. Click the ones that I would want to use in my bulleted points, things that sound, you know, relevant, interesting, something I can make sentences out of. You know, something related to the design, what have you. Okay, so again, you can go through this. It gives you some good ideas. And then again, you're going to come back up here. Keyword selected, view as text, so you don't have to type them all. Copy it paste it into here, and then you can start making your sentences. Hopefully that helps. Um, I know that it saves me some time when I'm stuck on what to come up with for the bulleted points, or maybe I'm just not looking at strong keywords. So obviously if these are being searched for on a um, high volume per month, then why not use them on Amazon as well? Hopefully this helps somebody.